Catered halls are really tempting because the idea of not having to cook basically attracts many people, including me, and that's why I'm living in one right now. But the thing about catered hall is that you have to live with their food for one full year. And is the food really good enough that you really won't want to cook? Hey everyone, I'm Andrew, currently a computer science student in University of Nottingham, and on this channel we explore ways to improve our work, our life, and ourselves in general. Today, I'd like to share my experience in the catered hall and basically review what I eat in a week in my catered hall. Let's get to it. So living in the catered hall of University of Nottingham, what you actually get is you get 19 meals a week, which consists of two brunch, five breakfasts, and seven dinners. And then what about the other seven lunch? Okay, so the other seven lunch, oh actually no, sorry, there's no seven lunch, there's only five lunch because uh, weekends is just brunch, they have breakfast as br and lunch combined yeah the i didn't have to explain that i mean that's the definition of brunch right but yeah like the five five lunch on weekdays is actually covered with something called a daily bites meal card which they provide you 25 pounds every single week where you can just spend around the campus to get your lunch and this amount isn't stackable so basically by the end of each week if you don't spend it all it'll be disappeared and then it will reset to 25 on a new week again so that is basically what we get in a catered hall and now i actually over the past week i have taken pictures of what i eat for the whole day some of them i did forget so yeah sorry about that but yeah uh basically we'll now run through them and now explain what do we actually eat every single week all right so that's one thing which i actually forgot to mention is that all they actually do kind of follow a menu kind of type of thing but they it, they don't follow that menu for a whole year. I'm not sure if they, they change the menu twice or three times, but no, I do know that they have at least two menus per year because by this time in semester two, we are following the second menu and this menu rotates every three weeks. So yeah, this menu is actually available online. You can search it online. They they do show you what, what we actually eat for every three weeks, something like that. But for breakfast, I think they repeat every single week and brunch, it's the same as well. So starting with this, this is actually the breakfast for for Monday yeah so usually what you get over here is that it's it's actually quite a lot of food and you pretty much will get hungry for it because uh, it's kind of like semi buffet style so you can kind of get quite a lot of stuff but they do limit the choices that you can have so over here there on every single breakfast menu you can get two proteins and over here we have scrambled eggs and sausages one carbohydrate which I got is hash brown and then there's muffin and mushroom which are kind of like the sides which is somewhat unlimited of course you can't really take that much lah, but then you know you can get a reasonable amount and then of course you other than that you can still get a fruit and then a yogurt milk is refillable oats is like kind of considered as a side as well and then there's all kinds of spreads which includes uh nutella peanut sorry there's no peanut butter there's like cream cheese all kinds of jam and then what else there's butter and there's toast, unlimited toast as well. There's refillable juice, like apple juice, orange juice, and tropical juice. And then there's all kind of sauce for you to choose from. So those are these are kind of the options that you have. And this is basically what I have for breakfast. I mean, the food is, it's really filling, but then you can't expect the ingredients to be the best. And then they are, you know, how they taste is like, not that, that good. It's like, how should I say it? It's just, cafeteria food you know imagine when people cook in large amount in bulk and all that that's kind of what it tastes so this is what i have for monday and then going on to oh yeah monday i didn't get a lunch because uh, by this point i'm actually a bit tired of sandwich and all that so sometimes i'd rather not not have lunch but i mean looking at breakfast i do eat a lot so yeah it's really filling that's why i i, I don't really get get lunch sometimes and so this is dinner. Okay, dinner menu, it, there's a lot more stuff. So it's actually pretty much the same thing. There's, uh, you can choose from one hot main protein and then and then there is like carbohydrate, which you can get, there's vegetable you can get as well. But let's say if you don't want the main, hot main protein, you can, you can get pasta or you can get baked potato. And of course, a beautiful thing is that they have a salad bar, which you can get, you can pretty much get any, as much salad as you want. Yeah, reasonable amount. But of course, they have dessert for you to choose from and it's kind of different every single day as well. But, you know, the thing is that they don't actually 
follow strictly to the menu sometimes i don't know why because on this day monday actually we're supposed to get like teriyaki salmon or or turkey meatballs but then it came out with some kind of chicken curry and i forgot what's the they did there's some kind of choices so usually there's two hot main protein choices and then there's another either vegan or vegetarian option i think so two of the hot main protein one is usually the i mean one of them is halal another one might not be halal sometimes both of them are halal as well so over here on monday we have like some chicken curry and then i think that that one is some kind of i think sweet potato f uh, f wedges and then there's broccoli that's a potato salad from the salad bar and then some noodles as well this is like you know, it's just normal stuff and i got their dessert which is i have no idea what cake is that because they didn't actually follow the menu you know sometimes they just don't follow whatever the menu states uh, it's written there and then uh, i got myself an orange fruit and dessert staple stuff so this is what i get for monday dinner and going on uh tuesday because tuesday i kind of woke up late and then i have a lecture to attend to online that's why i decided to just head downstairs and then just grab and grab my stuff in a tupperware and and ate in front of my lecture <laughs> um, in front of my online lecture and yes i got the the same stuff i didn't really actually get uh oats uh porridge porridge oats for that day i got myself just some fruits yogurt milk and then two protein, uh, the two protein are bacon and eggs, and then French toast, carbohydrate. This is actually something special for for Tuesday, but then you know the 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 French toast is more like deep fried toast instead of like French toast. So yeah, okay, but then not the best. <laughs> okay, uh, Tuesday I did get lunch this time around, so I get kind of uh, so right down my accommodation there's this bar called vesper which is amazing it means that i can literally spend my whole day inside my my hall without without needing to step out of it for any kind of food so yes that's why i get the best option which is pulled pork panini amazing and then some fries and this is like 550 pounds it's actually just i wait is it is it 550 i forgot or 650 I feel like it should be 650 i think the panini itself it's like 450 and then adding fries will add two pounds on it so in total it's like 650 no this is good and this is what i basically get for lunch and then that day for dinner that day for dinner i get that okay so a bit uh, an interesting thing about about tuesday is that tuesday it's always a special menu which means that you won't know what it is uh it's random stuff it's kind of just whatever the, the chef want to cook so yeah on, on tuesday we get this i'm sorry that i didn't take a picture earlier because you know i kind of just stopped taking it half I, I i i remembered it halfway into my meal that's why i took it <laughs> in between it and then we i think we got a fried chicken um fried chicken breast thing i think and then we have some from potato slices some what's that bean i don't know what that's kind of like Jap japanese beans or something like that some corn some potato salad and hummus amazing but it's not as good as um, i like like the hummus that you taste in like good restaurant and all that it's just like you know below average hummus and then for this for this dessert i forgot what's the name i forgot what's the name i'm sorry about that I, it's kind of like prof throws like cream puffs and all that with, with chocolate on it but then it's like in long shape shit there's a name for it i forgot i forgot i remember it's like android something and then one of the early android eclair yes this is eclair eclair it's eclair it's it's one of the best dessert that, that they have over here and i like it and yes and i get myself a usual fruit as well an orange as well but you know this is like the, the chicken is okay but then other than that other stuff is like pretty much normal stuff then going on to wednesday wednesday is a beautiful day because they actually provided us with sunny side up that's why i got myself a few toast um to to complement those fried eggs and then instead of having like pork bacon they have turkey rashers this time around and then there's hash brown and mushroom as well of course every day there are vegan options for their proteins as well which is really nice from uh, from them they're really considerate and all that and for this day i get the same stuff you know um cream cheese yogurt porridge oats banana and a cup of milk nothing special okay for lunch i got it from vespa as well because i actually spent mm, many days in my room <laughs> yeah and i got this i forgot what's this what's this salad called i think it's chajun chicken salad i think or tikka masala i forgot 
So, um, I forgot. But yeah, it's a salad. I think it's just like four pounds. It's amazing, you know. It's it's okay, you know. It's just like it's okay. <laughs> just an okay salad. <laughs> yeah, nothing nothing too special about it. But I mean, it's really convenient and it's kind of healthy as well, I would say. And is it? I think yeah. This Wednesday, Wednesday night, we have something interesting, which is a gammon steak. So this is actually not a picture to taken by me because I, by the time I remember that I have to take a picture, I, my my food, uh, I have actually finished my food. So I actually asked my friend Kani to take a picture, for me and, she, uh, because she, she actually spends, I mean not that she spends, she really like taking vegetables from the salad bar and that's that's like some salad greens from the salad bar which you can see and then on that day we have some. Portobello mushroom, uh, gammon steak with egg, amazing. Finally, we get to have egg, egg for like dinner. And then there's some peas as well, and she got a green apple. Amazing, I forgot what's the dessert for that day. Yeah, but I doubt they actually follow the the, the menu on, on that day as well. So this is for Wednesday. The gammon steak is quite salty, but other than that, you know, it's quite good. The, having that egg basically makes it one of the best dish that we ever have. Okay, going on to this one is ter Thursday. So yes, Thursday. Thursday uh, breakfast, uh, we have a cheese omelette, potato waffles, bacon, some tomatoes, then all the other usual stuff which I actually get very normal but I don't really like the yeah, cheese omelette. I really prefer either scrambled eggs, hard boiled eggs or even fried eggs. Cheese omelette is like kind of the worst thing because like they are a bit too cheesy. That I don't know, I, I don't like something like this in the morning. That's why. Yeah, that's why I personally think. But yes, oh shit, I actually forgot. I forgot to take any kind of picture for Thursday, I think. That's why. Yeah, that's why I, I didn't have anything. So on Thursday, let me just check the menu. And I think Thursday, Thursday we have some kind of chimichurri beef. I think it's just some some kind of, you know, like beef with gravy, with some chickpea, potato wedges and all that. Yeah, it's like, eh, not really something that's that's really good. But I forgot to take a picture of that. I'm sorry about that. On Friday, on Friday, they used to have this beautiful thing where they actually offer... So the beautiful thing is that they, they, they used to offer... Oh my god, what's happening to me? They used to offer all this kind of uh, breakfast wrap where inside there's bacon, sausage, eggs. I'm not sure hash brown, but there's there's cheese as well. Like it's perfectly melted and everything. So it's like kind of the full breakfast package. But then uh, starting from this week onwards, they became smart and they decided they, that they don't want to wrap it for us anymore. So we can choose to wrap it ourselves. And obviously I didn't, I didn't do that. That's why I, I just get like, all the normal stuff and then with some cheese to complement you know they, they they gave us a cheese so why not yeah but yeah other than that like it's pretty normal i really just other than the plate itself whatever that's on the plate as well it's always the same stuff around it uh, banana yogurt porridge oats and milk yeah but i really would have loved if they actually provided wrap again but i don't think they're doing that again i know i think someone just 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 thought of this new idea and got a raise yeah so for that day lunch uh because sometimes i really really just want to eat asian food and even ramen would satisfy me that's why i went and get myself a bowl of ramen yay korean ramen amazing best thing ever so yeah i really enjoyed this uh nothing much to say i mean they, they there's this this place called Spar in on our campus, where she, which is I think it's the only place where you can like buy like a bunch of groceries or this with your daily daily bites meal card. So every end of the week, people would just hit there and then just buy buy, just try to spend all their money, and that's what I get. At least one pack. Uh, I I kind of limit myself to just one instant noodle a week, and yeah, there's something I get from there. And that night, yes, that night is beautiful. We have this. Let me check. I think it's fish fingers. Oh, fish gorgeon sup. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of like fish fingers. It, it actually provides it with like, kind of like sandwiches. Like those, I'm not sure. They call it sup in UK, but I for me, it's just like, you know, like those long sandwich, like what you get from Subway. I'm not sure. Do they just call it sup? I don't know. But yeah, you, you can put it in it, but I don't really like having it that way. That's why I just got, got those fish fingers, some peas, some curly fries some tomatoes and yeah that day we do have some oreo donut for for dessert which is amazing yeah but everything is just normal like, eh, nothing nothing too special um seriously i i, I felt bad for like saying that nothing is too special because it, it kind of like uh i'm i don't know it, it, i'm kind of like talking bad about their food ish like i kind of make make it uh it kind of makes me feel like i'm not appreciating their food but then in fact 
that is really how they put this. It's really not that good. It's just like, eh, it's it's really normal. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, oh, so this is Saturday. Saturday, actually, we usually have brunch on Saturday. But the thing is, because that day, they offer this uh, a free ticket to watch Batman. And this is something that uh, is given to all university accommodation students, which is why we went. And then we missed out on brunch. So we went to one of the cafe at Portland building and got ourselves a pair of pepperoni sandwiches and this lemon meringue cupcake but they are average as well. I think both of them cost around five to six pounds. Yeah, pretty average stuff. But that night we got a, I think this is turkey fajitas, turkey fajitas, some corn, some rice. You can actually put it in a wrap but then I don't know. It's a lot more interesting here like on, on the menu it says that there's guacamole, salsa and sour cream but none of that i mean i i i i went for dinner in another hall and they actually provided all this but it just doesn't provide it in our hall so sometimes what the offerings kind of depends on the hall that you're in as well for some reason our hall just doesn't have that and that they in sometimes in instead of dessert if you don't really want that dessert you can actually choose to take a yogurt and this is what sometimes the choice i make because i find that to be healthier than some of the dessert that they offer so i choose that but you know their, their turkey is actually quite bad this is something i have to note about uh my hall willoughby hall in university of nottingham yeah their, their turkey is quite bad so yeah this is the dinner and finally on to sunday sunday uh so this is brunch so brunch is a bit different unlike Unlike on weekdays breakfast where you can only choose two protein and one carb, on brunch they they don't care about sides, carbs and protein. They put it they put it all into one category when you can where you can choose five. So that's why I choose hash brown, tomatoes, sausage, bacon and eggs. And oh my god, I have no idea why they do this, but that one day they actually provided us with avocados. It's the only time that they've done it in so many many weeks and. I'm just surprised that they've done it and that's why I took it and yeah I kind of enjoyed it with, with those eggs I mashed it together and spread it on my bread oh my god it's amazing but other than that it's like normal stuff you know milk, yogurt, banana and all that so the avocado thing is the best thing I've, that I've ever had in many many weeks <laughs> I have to be honest that's the thing we have for that night oh oh shit I forgot I forgot to, to take a picture for that night but that night what I have was actually a roasted chicken and thyme chicken supreme so it's like uh, just roasted chicken uh, with some onion stuffing ball, roast baby potatoes, cauliflower cheese, bacon carrots. Yeah, just pretty normal stuff. So, I mean, this is pretty much what I have for as catered food, uh, catered food in in University of Nottingham and uh, catered hall. To be honest, yeah, like the food isn't isn't doesn't taste that good. At least for my hall, I, I can't say for other halls because I mean I've went to theirs and sometimes they theirs actually taste. Quite, I mean, it wasn't. It will, I wouldn't say it's like outside restaurant quality, but then it's just above average. Ours is like average or below average, something like that. But if you talk about whether it's worth it, definitely it's worth it. Like you definitely get, you will definitely get quite full out of all this. Yeah, like breakfast is definitely one of the best thing. I, if it's me living outside, I think I'll probably be getting bread and something like that. But over here, who oh, get a full English breakfast? So it's definitely amazing. Yeah, like other than that, I guess. Anything I want to talk about? I guess that's it. This is pretty much my review for for the catered hall food in University of Nottingham. Would I live for another year if I have the chance? Uh, no, I definitely won't. I would actually move out. I'll, I'll choose like uh, self-catered halls or like even just rent a house myself because I desperately want to cook. <laughs> the food here is like, yeah, it's, it's 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 it doesn't taste that good. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you like to share about what you think about catered hall food, maybe you like it, maybe you hate it, wherever you you knew you are, just share it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. But yes, other than that, if you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe. Maybe consider checking out my previous video where I actually talk about the differences I I find between UK and Malaysia, uh, and mostly the things I kind of like about UK. You can actually check out my my video that I posted last week. Uh, and if you like the podcast, do check out the Ink Thoughts podcast, which is a podcast created by me and my girlfriend Vareen, where we discuss about incongruous thoughts in our daily life. So thanks everyone for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.